Nosotros papaya to you, my friends. We have a live show June 25th at the Ace Theater Hotel. If you've not gotten your tickets yet and you live in Los Angeles, what are you doing? Head over to TigerBellyLive.com, click on tickets, and get yourself some. Also, uh, if you see a QR code right now in the video, or if you're listening on audio, hit the link down below. You can go to legacy.shop slash tigerbelly. There may or may not be some live show tickets uh, being raffled. Who knows? You have to go check it out. Scan the QR code or hit the link down below. We'd also like to thank our sponsors for supporting the show. If you'd like more info or just want to use our Tiger Belly codes, you can go to stitchfix.com slash belly and betterhelp.com slash belly, seatgeek.com or the SeatGeek app with promo code belly and sakara.com slash belly. Enjoy the show. The, the compliment I get really the most is the cabin. Can I tell you? As of, as of late. I, 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 because they, we did it in the pandemic yeah. and it aired in the pandemic, we never had a chance of doing a second season. Damn. Oh, wow. Because, yeah, because it was, it, it was in pandemic. They weren't making anything. It would be so expensive to make that show. I would reach out. I'd, I was thinking about reaching out to Netflix and doing a second season. You have to. Doing it with the same cast members. Like doing it with you guys again. Yeah. And then doing it like uh, I wanted to do it on a boat. Oh, that'd so be great. So it's that cabin. Like we all get a luxury yacht <sighs> and go down. Yeah. I don't, hey. think, I don't think LeVar likes me that much, though. Oh, LeVar. What's his name? No, 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 no. Oh, I li- no, 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 no. Keep guessing black names. Oh, my God. Keep LeVar guessing. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. LeVar Burden? Oh, fuck. No, wait, wait. Ian. No, not Ian. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep going. Well, what's his name? Brian oh, Simpson. LeVar. Brian Simpson. No, 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 his name is... um, um Dave. Demetrius. Chappelle. Demetrius, Demetrius Johnson, the MMA fighter. Hey, babe. Come on in. Hey, we're guessing black people's names. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Odell? What the fuck? Name. Darnell? Donnell Rawlings. It's Donnell. It's Donnell Rawlings. Donnell Rawlings. <laughs> I forgot his name. I called him LeVar, LeVar Burton. <laughs> like LeVar Burton? Yeah. <laughs> because Reading I love Star Trek Next of... Generation. Yeah. That's the same guy? It's. I think it's the same guy. It is. He, yeah. W- with the data? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the same guy. Reading Are you Rainbow. Fucking serious? Yeah, Rainbow Rainbow. And he also did uh, uh, the Kunta Quintes. No. Yeah. yeah. He was Kunta Kinte? He was. <laughs> Kunta yeah, Kinte? Yeah, yeah. Am I saying it the wrong, wrong yeah, yeah, way? Yeah. Fabulously. I, at least I'm not saying Joe. Was, huh? Kunta, <laughs> was, Kunta, was Kunta Kinte a real guy? Yeah. In real oh, yeah. life? Oh, yeah. He was like the most, like, he was like. He was like the most famous slave. The most influencer slave? He was, uh, he was a big, he was an influencer slave. <laughs> Dude, if he had Instagram back then, he would have like a million followers, you think? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you know, that was like a big game changer for white people. <laughs> how, how did it hit the Asian community? What? Uh, roots. Roots. <laughs> No, it not at all. I don't know if it, it didn't know. hit at all, bro. <laughs> roots? I don't know. That's what they they don't know what it is. You mean ginger? <laughs> ginger root? <laughs> I love ginger root. <laughs> Gin- was, ginseng root? <laughs> ginseng root? Uh, it was a big deal for. I remember my family sitting around watching it. Roots? Yeah, yeah, it was a big deal. What? It was a really because there was, no <laughs> Why one was it a big deal because no one. So, uh, there was no one talked about racism and no one talked about black. I'm, I'm, by the way, why am I a white guy talking about roots? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No, 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 you know what? You brought this it is up. what you get, internet. You bag of. <laughs> I'm out. No. I'm out. Let's Go down white, the line. No. We'll, we'll edit it out. Stuff. We'll edit it out. What about roots? Your <laughs> fa- so it was. Let me just say, it was a weekly television event. Yes. Because back then they didn't have Blu-ray and shit like that. Yeah, right? and it was or it was, streaming. Got, see how many downloads it got? Not downloads. Yeah. Download. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Uh, so every week you would go. It's Thursday. Roots is on. No, I don't think everyone was like, I can't wait to see them hobble this slave. I think they were, because that's the big thing is that yeah, Joey yeah. ran away. Yeah. So they cut off half his foot. No. Oh, yeah. That was, and by the way, it shined a light on slavery. I think most people, I don't even know if we learned much about slavery before then. It was like, oh, yeah, and then they were slaves. But you know what? We're all good now. And then when Roots came out, it shined a very honest light on what, what slavery was. And I think most white people didn't think about it. And it was a really big deal. It was like the biggest. I watched it again. I watched it again recently. Yeah. And my takeaway was, like, slavery was like 150 years ago. Yeah. Like, oh, that's that's not like, that far. That, yeah. Yeah. And then you go. I remember being like, holy sh. I remember I we I watched it when the girls. I think we watched it with the girls um, when they were like 10 and seven. Roots. Yeah, that's when I watched it though. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah. It's good. To, Did I you mean, and your family went, watch Almastad as well? No, but I read Memoirs of a Geisha. I know you're not Japanese. <laughs> I, did <read> it. <laughs> I, did read it. I did read it. You read it? I read it. Why? Uh, did you masturbate to it? No, no, no. I was going through a, an awakening. Because <laughs> white dudes love concubines. No. No, you, you don't like concubines? I've never been into Asian chicks. I know that sounds weird. Oh, crazy. shit. Now we're yeah. going down a path. I've never been, but I never, I, I don't know the right way to say this. 
Try to. I've only fucked around with white chicks my whole life. Mm. Uh, I've, I've only been with six people. Women. I miss same people. A yeah, curiosity yeah. for outside of white? I never met. I just it wasn't. Like, I, I lived a pretty white life. Like, I went to an all-boys Catholic high school. Uh, there was I dated some Cuban chicks, mostly. And then a couple rednecks. And then I was out. <laughs> never dated a black chick. I have, hooked up with a black chick once. Have you seen a uh, uh, Asian woman's vagina live? Not alive. Live. Live nope. theater. Like, why would it be dead? No, but he, he no, no, probably no, in a magazine, on, like yeah, oh. a magazine. hustler. But I'm just saying yeah. in real life. Oh, real yeah. time. I don't, uh, no, I haven't. You've show never me, seen a wow. Show me yours. I'll just show me yours. <laughs> <laughs> but very tight. Is, is it, I've never. Is there a difference? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's loose uh, vaginas that uh, Asian women have. Really? Why wouldn't they? I don't know. What do you mean? They, they queef in everything. Oh yeah, it's fully functional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Asian I'm, women have cuter queefs though. It goes like this. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it does a little giggle. When an Asian woman... I mean, you know fuck? I'm Asian and my queefs do not sound like that. You're half, though. You're half white, so yeah. Are yeah. you half white? Yeah. And you're Filipino. Yeah. I didn't realize Filipino was Asian for a long time. <laughs> what you, you think it was? was? I just thought it was, was? I thought it was Spanish. Oh, because, because it's close. There's, there's so, every name... Every, this was the back uh, when I used to do jokes like this. Every time you met like a Filipino person in an the audience, they always had the whitest names. Yeah. Except for you. Yeah. 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 No, but, but they they really do. It's like Reginald. Yeah. Mm. You know? Joe Coy. <laughs> <laughs> and and so and so but the, but the am I correct in saying Philip the language sounds kind of Spanish? Uh, yeah, so my dialect, I don't speak Tagalog, I speak Bisaya and a lot of our words are in fact still Spanish. Like all of our months of the year, the days of the week, the numbers, like plates, spoons, forks, it's all still Spanish. Yeah. Um, is it okay? This is a weird question. First mm -hmm. off, I love Joe Coy before I start this. Okay. <laughs> do you ever, as a person or as, as a comic? As a, everything. Okay, as a, everything. Okay. Do you ever, as a Filipino person, do you ever just go watch Joe and you're like, I get it. You're Filipino. Like, um, I, that's a really good question. Well, it's, it's, I never thought about it. I, I see it a lot. And now I, I feel like I know more about uh, Filipino people because of Joe, right? Yes. But, um, and I think it's more on my radar than it ever was. But it's I, w I wonder if I had a friend who was white and constantly talked about being white. I'd be if I'd be like, we get it, you're white. He so he <laughs> he has something that he's is like. Man, is this bad? No, 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 no. no. Okay. I don't even know. I'm I don't curious. even know how I sound. I'm, I'm gonna but, defend him real quick. I'm gonna defend what? Joey. I'm not, I'm not attacking that, him. Stop uh, attacking yeah, yeah, yeah. him, Bert. He's our friend. God, Stop doing Bert. It. Go ahead, babe. Well, when you are. <laughs> When you are a mixed kid, yeah. you're often mistaken for everything but what you are, uh, including me, right? So yeah. I've been called, you know, Portuguese, Cuban, like whatever it is, and never Filipino and never white. So Stanley, it's almost Stanley like Tucci. Stanley Tucci, Italian. People you know? call you Stanley Tucci. <laughs> I, I do. Yeah. I do. Oh, oh. <laughs> then, so I think that's where it comes from, the need to be like, you know what? Like, this is what I am before you start guessing, because the guessing game is awkward for me. Oh, so my maybe that's thing to do as a white guy. <laughs> like it's like you know that you know when white people do that we're trying we're trying to connect <laughs> we're, it really we really are like it's we do I don't do it anymore but uh but we're trying to connect I did I take it back I did it last night I did it last night <laughs> to, to the, a Greek woman and I and I sp started speaking Spanish to her she goes I don't speak Spanish <laughs> and I went yeah. you don't speak Spanish your accent's so thick though and she goes it's Greek and I went no. <laughs> She was like, oh, yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, this is, I'm just going to get drunk and fucking, never mind. I, I'm going to defend Joe Coy real quick, too. I'm not attacking no, Joe so, Coy! So I, in the 90s, <laughs> I want to defend him, because in the 90s, because I met Joe um, the first year I did stand-up in 1995. Yeah. We met at an open mic. He had hair. He had, like, a Wait, kind what of- did Joe Coy's hair look like? He had, like, curly hair. Mm -hmm. and he had glasses. Yeah, he looked like a nerd. But you could tell that he was something, you know? And, um... We met, and it's like at that time there were no Asians doing it. We were the only ones, yeah. And so we were almost like forced to do talk about to make us seem different because there was another comedian named Mark Fernandez that we know, yeah. right? Who refused. Yeah. Hold on. Who's that's that? that's Joe Coy. It's Joe Coy. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, easy. He does looks so much better without hair. <laughs> I know. I, he looks so. Yeah. I know. Is this just a picture? It's a picture. It's a picture. Yeah. Uh, wow. If he grew that out, it'd be curly. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when uh, I met him. Also, another. I'd like. Let, to can add I finish to, my yeah, point yeah, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish my. Let me finish my point. 
Let me say that again. Let me finish my point. So um, we were forced to do it yeah. because it's like Mark Fernandez refused to. He was a Filipino guy. And we go, how come you don't do accents? And Ty goes, I'm above that. I don't want to do it, right? And Mark didn't have the kind of career really at all. And we did because I think we played into that whole thing. Mm -hmm. But now when I still do it, I still do it. I, not as much as Joe, but I still go, any Asians here? And I feel my heart drop. Yeah. I, I'd also like I feel guilty. I hear what you're saying, yeah. but like, I'd also like to add one more thing to defend Joe. I'm not attacking. <laughs> I have to defend him from you. You piece of shit. Um, is that like? I'm such a colonizer. Yeah, yeah. big colonizer energy. <laughs> big colonizer. I got colonizer. Um, colonizer. So, energy. what Joe Coy does is, I am proud. I am Filipino. I'm one half Filipino, but fuck it. I take ownership of this identity, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. a great thing to be Filipino, yeah. which a lot of Filipinos don't often feel. So I think that he does a good job. And at a that. lot of white comics make fun of him and they yeah. push him. <laughs> Why does he have to do that? They bring up Kunta Kente. It, all yeah, the time. It's yeah, this is turning into a really good episode of, for me, guys. Millions of <laughs> Filipino people. So it's like you should call him. I should call him, yeah. Yeah, call him on the phone. Yeah. And defend him and, in front and, of And do Burke. what? But do, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to pick up. He won't pick up. Face I guarantee time. you he won't pick up. FaceTime. But let's try to... FaceTime. Uh, FaceTime. Uh, FaceTime. Uh, I'll oh, yeah. He's not going to pick up. Yeah, that's about his hair. What? Oh. Uh, he almost looks younger without hair. Yeah, he does. Right? He just turned 53. Oh, my God. He did? Yeah, I just saw it, I saw it on... Uh, on... Uh, uh, Chelsea's thing. Chelsea was doing wow. a big thing. So I'm younger. I guess everyone in her family dates Filipino people. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I don't. Uh, yeah. And so she was. And she was like, "Happy birthday." He's not gonna pick up. I wonder if he'll pick up from me. Not. I bet he'll pick up. From oh. oh. If you God. if you face for time and he picks up for you, it's gonna break my heart. Oh, wait, and he's then I'm gonna. Go he's facetiming. Me. Oh, there he is. Hey. Hi. So I'm with Bert. Hi, Chelsea. Chelsea Handler, hi. Hey, hi, Joe. Are they on a yacht? Hi, Bobby. Are you guys on a yacht or a spaceship? What the fuck is that? We're in a spaceship. Test, it's, uh, you know. A, a yacht. A spaceship. It's a gay ship. <laughs> We're gay people. Yeah. Oh, really? You guys gay yeah. now? Are you guys, are you gay now? I've always been kind of gay. Exactly. <laughs> So, um, Bert's been ripping on you. No, hold on. That's not what happened, Joe. <laughs> Fucking FaceTime him. I'm FaceTiming him right now. Yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah, yeah Joe's, been, no. Joe's been ripping on you. Joe. <laughs> Never. Turn yeah. the phone around. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a fucking liar. You can't trust Koreans. They fuck everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been kind of ripping on you, so I just... As long as, as, long as Bert's wearing fucking flip-flops, I can't take anything he says to you. <laughs> well... Tell her, tell her, tell her, I'm not just wearing flip flops, I'm yeah. wearing my flip flops. He's wearing his brand of flip flops, which is sad. <laughs> I love it. Send me a pair, Bert. I'll okay. send you one pair. Chelsea right. goes barefoot. I love you, Joe. I just want to let you know that Bert's not saying good things about you. Right, that's I a lie. That's a fucking bye -bye. lie. I love you. <laughs> that went well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bert, I noticed your pedicure. You're into yeah. pedicures? Uh, yeah, oh. I, we, I've always I've been into them for a long time. Mostly it was fun. It's just fun to do with my daughters. Mm. Like it's uh -huh. fun, and I really look, look, I, I love. I, I mean, I, I have mine done too. I saw your nails done. I can see. Your I, nails. I, I got my nails done, mine and my too. and my feet done. Yeah. Oh, uh, so you got you. Let, let's start. Let's start the introduction though, because we. I wow, don't like. Oh, what? We haven't even introduced. Oh yet. no! One, oh then no! This, this is cool. Tom Square, cool. everybody. No, 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 I love it. <laughs> Bobby Lee, he's in town and ready to go. Bobby Lee. You know what my um, you know how my penis used to smell? What it like? Remember, because my penis, I, I know what the fucking problem was. What a beastie beastie. Oh, sorry. No, my penis used to smell because I, for some reason, the skin around the actual stem of it has grown, and so it covers it like it's not circumcised, mm. and it it collects like. A smell, you know what I mean, when it's tucked in, the head's a, tucked a in. Musk. So what I've been doing lately, every hour, and I now it's I just kind of re untuck it. Oh, so you God gave you back your foreskin? Yeah, a little. No, I have to redo it constantly, but my penis smells fine now. <laughs> All right. So cool. Anyway, what? 
We got Kalila in the room. We got Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. We got Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. We got this cute guy right here. What's his name again? Pedro. Pete. Pete. Petey, Petey, Petey. And we've got one of my favorite people in the whole world. Uh, he is one of the best stand-ups in the world. Uh, when I was in Budapest, Hungary, there was a fan. Remember, I, I was... Do you remember I called you? Uh, yeah, I do. So I was in a, um, you know, the like a, it was like a facial place, and you know, in Budapest, and some guy was talking to me because I was getting my facial, mm -hmm. and he goes, "So you do comedy?" I go, "Yeah." He goes, "I never heard of you," <laughs> and I go, "Oh, that's fine." He goes, "You know Burke Kreischer?" <laughs> and I go, "Yeah, he's a good friend of mine." He goes, "No, you don't know him. <laughs> you don't know him, right?" I go, "I know him," and I f and I fucking Facetimed him. And I fucking he picked up, and it, it and I got the fucking facial for free. What? Yeah, so I showed it to fuck the guy, right? And then they, they we talked. They talked a little bit, and then he was starstruck. Wow. I mean, imagine being on the other side of the world <laughs> liking somebody, and then some guy sitting there saying, "I fucking know him." It was like the best Hollywood shit, right? And you fucking gave me a fa free facial, bro. So give him a round, Bert Kreischer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bert Kreischer. So um, you were making fun of my star um. Gaming? No, 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 no. Yeah, you were. I'm sure there's a big swath of America that goes, I farm for real. <laughs> <laughs>Stitch fix. You guys, <laughs> honestly, um, I hate shopping uh -huh. for clothes. I hate going to the mall. I hate any of that, right? And Stitch Fix is like a wizardry place, oh. right? How so? I'll tell you why. You fill out a little quiz of what you like, and they, they choose it for you. Mm. It's like having your own personal stylist, honestly. And exactly. You don't have to leave your home. It comes right to your door. You choose the items that you love, and then you can ship the ones you don't intend to wear. It's so freaking brainless and easy it and works and because i you know when i open up a box right i go how do they know i would wear all these because of the mm. test you took exactly the baby it's easy and fun to get started first take a few minutes to set up your stitch fix style profile answer a few questions about what you like to wear what you don't and how open you are to trying new styles for bobby and i we're a little bit more adventurous so they give us some pretty pretty cool people dude i'm a stylist dude like i'm a you know very uh -huh. complex he has a fashion and they guy. get it sign up today at stitchfix.com slash belly to get 20 dollars off your first purchase that's stitchfix.com slash belly to get 20 dollars off your first purchase limited time offer purchase within two days of sign up and now a word from our sponsor better help better help you guys um during the pandemic i used better help i still use it but um it really saved me you know saved my life um, therapy is just an indispensable part it of is. my life life can be babe sweetie yeah life can be overwhelming and many people are burned out without even knowing it and symptoms can include things you wouldn't even think about like, like what like what babe like for me, it's irritability and mm. fatigue. Fatigue is such a big one. Lack of motivation is me, baby. BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. And I promise you that's me. Some days I'm just curled up in bed in the mm -hmm. dark and I just want to talk to someone on the phone. This is a perfect feature for that. And it's so cool because BetterHelp is way more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I love their journal feature. It it's really customized, baby. Online therapy. And our listeners get 10% off their wow. first month at betterhelp.com slash check belly. it out guys check it out once again that's better help.com slash belly that's better help.com slash belly well did you do you know the premise of stardew valley now like well no i know well, i know the premise is i know what premise i know is that uh <laughs> bobby <laughs> bobby's trying to stay sober and so he just <laughs> disappears in into a farm <laughs> for 12 hours yeah. and farms on a video game yeah. which on paper sounds absolutely crazy yeah but i know the feeling like i so my addiction isn't oddly enough with alcohol and drugs it is with food and it's with video games like video games i'm not allowed to play because i get so into them everything washes away and, and the last game I was allowed to play, I bought a, a Switch. I bought two Switches. Oh, nice. Um, Stardew's on Switch. Stardew Valley's on Switch. I, I, I can't do it. Okay. Because I, I disappear. Okay. So my wife, I had Tiger. I was really into Tiger Woods Golf. 
Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So fucking, I mean, like, you have no idea how into Tiger Woods golf I was. Yeah. And my wife came home at, from work, and I was playing Tiger Woods golf, and both girls were in the house. There were babies, and I wasn't paying attention to them. And they were, and my wife's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, "Huh?" And she took the plug away, and and all, then got a, a PSP. She took the plug away from that. She said, "You're never allowed to play video games." And I, I was so into Tony Hawk Skater. Oh, I, love I was it. so into it. Me that too. I would see rails, and I go, "Oh, I'd love to fucking hit that <laughs> yeah, rail." Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't even skateboard really. And I was like, <laughs> I could kick flip that rail, slide down it, fucking pop off, do an ollie. Yeah. Oh man, I oh look at that light thing. I could run all those lights all the way across. <laughs> and right. I, 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 I started looking at things in real life, yeah. and fantasizing about them in this make believe life that I was living. Yeah. And and it's such a great way to sh cuz what all you want to do is shut your brain off cuz I don't want my brain to talk to me. And so video games, oh, I did it today. I had I told you I woke up with a searing panic attack and blood pressure 160 over 100 mm -hmm. and I'm that's not good. And uh what's mine, babe? You've gotten a little bit better. You're under 120 now, but your diastolic is still a little high. But have I ever gone to 160? Yes, you have. You've been up to the 180s. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, so, and 160 is when, like, that's, that's, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so normally my blood pressure is 127 over 75, mm -hmm. which is fine. But, uh, and I've been working out hard, but I had two days of hard partying. And today I was like, I need something. And I got into my phone and I got on TikTok and I just started scrolling mm -hmm. to shut my brain off. Mm. Just to shut my go into this search and find something. Usually it's like surfing or disc golf. And I just start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And then I calm down and I'm like, okay. Bert, why don't you try fucking meditation? I can't do it. Yes, you can. Nope. I'll tell you what you do. Uh, you ready? Ready? I'm Asian. I know. I do the calm app. I do the calm app and I close my eyes and I wait for, for someone to smack me. And then I'm going, someone's walking in the room right now. Someone's walking in the room. Yeah. Someone's going to slap me in the face. Someone's mm -hmm. going to throw water on me. Like, I don't have that. My brain. But you're already going, it's going against what fucking meditation is. Those thoughts of someone going to smack me, someone's going to pee, you do it, pee, on, pee on your face. You, you think accept someone's gonna, them. Do you think people are going to pee on your face? No, I don't think so. Okay, that's what I think. Okay, yeah, but my. I think because of Ari Shafir. Because of Ari Shafir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ari, yeah, Ari's yeah, pissed yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll pee, he'll pee, pee but, but why don't you do this? One of the most valuable things my therapist ever said was you don't need to close your eyes to meditate. Because I had that same fear. I had a very distrust of my surroundings. Yeah. So she was like, just sit in place and have a focus, a very soft focus on something and start there. You don't have to have, because sometimes that throws me into a panic, panic attack when my eyes are closed and all of a sudden I'm like awake to the world and it's over stimulating. But what you do, what you do, what you, what you do, what you do is this, okay? You close your eyes, right? Uh -huh. You don't have to close your eyes. He's but scared I, of his eyes closed. My, with my eyes closed, I start. I feel very vulnerable. Right. So you cannot. You can do soft focus on something. A fixed. Well, can object. you go to a fucking room and lock the door? No. <laughs> Why you don't have any locks at your fucking house? No. no it, it, I've tried. Med I tried meditating in my bedroom on my recliner. Right. Uh huh. Get my recliner, and our dog Mona just starts barking, and then I start going, "Fuck, Mona, shut the fuck up." And then I get up. Go ahead. That's, that thought of Mona shut the fuck up is also okay. It's part of the meditative process of learning to have 10,000 thoughts, but not engaging, not grabbing onto the thought, just being like, that's a passing thought. That's a passing thought. I, I think of it this way. You thought. pop the, it's like a bubble. Yes. A thought is a bubble, right? So if I'm sitting there like this, oh, I wonder if my dick smells right now. Mm -hmm. I that's, have those thoughts too. Right, right, right. <laughs> should I untalk? Should I untalk? Right? Yeah. But I go, no. And I pop it. Bloop. The bubble. Mm-hmm. And it drifts away, right? And I just, I focus on my breathing. <sighs> right? And, I, and as, as I keep doing it, it become, the thoughts become less and less. Right? And I do it for like 30 minutes. And by 30 minutes, I can get to a point where it's pretty much silent. And he has ADD. He, and I have he's ADD. a better medit He meditates way longer than me. Mine are like max 10 minutes. I can, I can do the Calm app for 10 minutes. Yeah. But I need a guided meditation. I That's need someone great. to, to like, because if I just sit there with my thing, I go, what are you doing? What yeah. the fuck are you doing? Get up. Go work out. How about a spa? Do you go, I go to the spa every night. You want to go to the spa with me? No, I, I drink. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know like, you do. I, like, I, like, that's my, I he like. He has his own sauna. Yeah, I, I do a sauna and I do a polar plunge every day. I do 60 minutes in the sauna throughout a week wow. and 11 minutes. I try to do over 11 minutes in the polar plunge. Every week. And you have that in your house. I got it in my house. Wow. And then I got a gym and I got a treadmill. So normally what I do, like if I'm if I'm like 
Peter knows I'm I'm firing a little hot today, and so uh, it's like really hot. And so I'll probably go home and get on my treadmill and maybe open a box of wine and and try to have a like little glass of wine and walk on the treadmill and then break a sweat, go in the sauna, polar plunge, jump in the pool, and then go to bed. Why do you drink the wine though? Uh, I, it stops. <laughs> yeah, it stops it, my it, crazy it, thoughts. I think I, I know, but that's the problem, right? Well, no, I don't need to drink the wine, but uh, like I like, I like to. <laughs> I know you don't want, but yeah. th th oh, here's my problem. Here's here's my concern. Okay. All right. I love you, dude, and I yeah. feel like I feel like I, you know, what I mean, I'm at a point with you that I can just tell you how I feel about it. Okay. Right. And I'm not a, I'm not a medical person, so I can't diagnose you with anything. <laughs> Okay, I cannot diagnose anyone in the right, okay. right, and I only have my assumptions and the things that I can go on. Right, what no. I what? Go ahead. Is this solicited or unsolicited advice, though? Oh, that's well, it's definitely unsolicited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm not, you know what? You're it's right. You're definitely right. Definitely unsolicited. You're right. You're right. You know what? I'm not going to give my advice. Though. No, I have a feeling your advice is you're looking at me and you think I'm fat. <laughs> No, 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 I no, think no. that's what I can feel. That's where it's going. No, I do look at your body, but I don't. You know what? The thing is, is that when they go, what describe Burke Kreischer? I wouldn't go fat. I don't say fat either. I would say he's stocky. I'm not stocky. Yeah, you're stock. You're stump. You're stump. One. I'm six one. Husky. It's hard to be stocky. No, you're a stump. Like you're like a big red tree. If you chop it down, that's what you are. I'm jolly. Da Jolly's a good one. I have no idea how many fucking Santa Claus scripts I've gotten. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have man. no idea. I have a million. I had a, <laughs> I was like, every every time I get a call, they're like, hey, man, movie, they really, wa really want you. And I'd be like, don't say it's Santa Claus. And they're like, keep your mind open. <laughs> it's it's a different type of Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't fucking want to play Santa Claus. Yeah. I always get Elf. <laughs> and it really bothers me. Don't don't say elf. Elf, yeah. But it's different. They're doing an Asian angle. <laughs> right? Did it hurt you that you were never called for like the Hobbit or any of the Lord of the Rings stuff? Oh God, this is the rudest question I've ever had. No, but you said you've been called elf, so it's like wait, elves are cool, but were you never First of all, there are Asi there are no Asians in the, the Middle Earth. Yeah, they, 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 those movies those movies were made before inclusion. <laughs> <laughs> well, but no, be inclusion can be a little distracting. <laughs> like yeah. sometimes, like I remember watching Grease on TV. Yeah, and the one they did the musical on TV, oh, and yeah. it was like half and half white and black. Yeah, and I, I remember just going like, no one's going to talk about how progressive this high school is. But, in 1950. But they kept the racist Asian line on there. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a racist Asian line in Greece. What is it? And I can't see white people don't even they don't even cue onto it. Me too. How many times? How many times have you fucking seen Greece, bro? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can. How many times have you seen it though? Uh, a million. All right, right. On, so hold on, hold on. there's one line in there that's a little uncomfortable for me. Hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out. Yeah. Uh, just a line in the movie. It's a situation, yeah. It's a situation. But it involves Asians. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. Can I tell you this, yep, this yep, scene? Yes, I mean the scene. Slumber party. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, it's a, is it? <laughs> oh fuck! I want to watch Grease now to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, is it? It's got to be the the a hey, fondue. I'm <laughs> no, no, that's not. That's not Asian. Uh, that's not fondue. Uh, uh, didn't, she oh. didn't go. Hey, fondue. You. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was. Um, so there's a girl that shows photos of her boyfriend or something. Uh, yeah. Right. right? <laughs> I know. It. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And she, <laughs> why did she do this? Why did she? she go? Then she. No, I keep no, no. no she then, yeah, and she said something about like, this is him in Korea, and somebody goes, "Oh, you're dating a Korean? No, he's in the military, silly," uh, or something like that. Oh, you're dating a Korean? Oh, that, well, I guess you know, but it's but it's I, yeah, I guess that is kind of pretty fucked up. I, that would never register with me as a white guy. I go, I go. Well, yeah, it's 1950. Well, the line should be, "Oh, cool, you're dating a Korean. That's amazing. Wait, I've never met it." Where did you? I've never, I never met a gook before. <laughs> yeah, but even that would have been nicer. You know I mean? I've never met one of those ching chongs before. It could be very, it would be <laughs> you know I mean? very distracting if in Lord of the Rings they had all these white hobbits and then Bobby. Like it would be, you'd be like. You'd be <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, he lives on the east of the Shire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They look different there. You know what I mean? I auditioned. I didn't audition. I did a. I did a, a read for who's the guy that did that movie? Peter Jackson. Uh, Peter, Jackson. Mm -hmm. Peter Jackson. So I dressed. They we went down there to his 
big thing in where his studio is down there in New Zealand, and they dressed me up as Gandalf, like legit Gandalf, and uh, and I did a I did like an audition for him for Gandalf for Gandalf. I put it on. What the yeah. heck? That how long ago was that? A long time ago. Yeah. Well, that's how Elijah Wood got the movie. Oh yeah, he, fil- Wood. he filmed it himself. And so he filmed it himself and gave it to him. And so they dressed me up as Gandalf, and I told Peter Jackson, "I said I'm going to give a reel for you." <laughs> That's not real. There's so, you're not Gandalf. I, what if dude, Bert I look, was I Gandalf? Like you're a dwarf. Gandalf. You're a dwarf like, in the in that world, dude. I looked so much like fucking Gandalf. If Bert was Gandalf, oh my god. Here, can you pull up? Thing. Type in Bert Gandalf. Uh, I'm sure you'll. I look. I mean, I look just like fucking. It's Gandalf. online. I'm sure. Yeah. What's Bert. your beef with Santa and not Gandalf? <laughs> yeah. That's good, good, yeah question, why do good question, baby. Good question, baby. I don't hate Santa. It's just like I feel once you do Santa, then you're done. Oh, you think oh. so? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you do Santa, and then they're like, oh, good. And then if you do it well, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the book. You this is my audition. Well, also, <laughs> I forgot to mention this. With what? the map comes Excellent. the key. Yeah. It's very small. Key. Here it is. Don't lose it. I'm ad living a little bit. Don't <laughs> lose it. Keep it safe. Put this key. I'm gonna ad lib a little bit on this. Just go. Let me get mine. So if I just do the words, I'm doing Ian McKellen. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna use the words. And then, okay. Okay. Just go with it. Just go. Also, with this map comes the key. Very curious key, the small key. <laughs> Keep it with you at all times. <laughs> I suggest a nice piece of leather wrapped around the neck with a keyhole right through the top. I thought it would make sure it's on you. Pretty good. Time. Yeah. Did I mention don't lose it? And the map, don't lose that either. If you lose the key but have the map, it's no good. And if you have the key but you don't have the map, then where are we? <laughs> Very Keep good. The key. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. I can't believe you didn't get that. I know. Yeah. I know. There's a. I would. I, I. I. You didn't attempt to do an English accent or nothing. That was an English accent. <laughs> that, Hello. That's not an English. That's just. I'm a, not good at. You're just a deeper voice. All my accents end up Asian. Like I, I always start them noble, like a pirate, and then. Hello, they, I am Gandalf. Oh. No. No. Hello. Not, Hello, oh, I'm yeah. Gandalf. Hello, I'm Gandalf. Yeah, there we go. Hello, I'm yeah. Gandalf. That's good. Yeah, but I was doing my own version of Gandalf. All right. My, He's all like right. a nondescript. <laughs> you know? but also, why does he have to have a British accent? He can be uh, anything. Right? Thank you. By the way, they do that for everything. Have you ever noticed like German movies? All the Germans have British accents. Yeah. Like whenever yeah. they do Nazis, they're all British accents. I just watched a movie. I'm watching, Cath- it's called The Great. It's about Catherine the Great. Yeah. Yeah. They all have British accents. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah, and you, yeah. But I, I think Americans are so stupid that if we hear a British <laughs> accent, we go, oh, yeah, that's German. <laughs> no, that's the way Germans really? would sound if they spoke English. I mean, that's what they did with the show Chernobyl. Yeah, everyone I think. Was, yeah. And everything was in. But I think if English. Germans had an English accent back in the day when they were doing the fucking wait, Holocaust wait, thing, wait. it wouldn't be as scary. Like sh- go into t- go into the shower, <laughs> and you're like, oh, all right, I'll go take a shower. If Germans. <laughs> Oh. If Germans had an English accent, it wouldn't be as Hello, scary. Hello, Hello. on the train, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one by one single file. <laughs> yeah. Get a cue. Get a little yeah, cue. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put yeah. a tattoo on your arm. <laughs> right? A little tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound that bad. The Holocaust doesn't sound It doesn't sound, sound that bad. as bad yeah. with an English accent. Wait, you were in The Dictator? Yeah. Oh, I never saw Sasha Baron Cohen's movie. Yeah, that, you're talking about... The interview. The interview, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was not in that. Can you believe that that ruined all the people that worked at Sony? <laughs> really? Isn't that crazy? That's, yeah, that movie. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're, yeah. they're fucking leaked all their emails mm. because of that. Oh, that's right. And I they remember. all lost their jobs because they were just regular people. Like, have you ever looked in your, in your texts and just to see, like, how good or bad you are? Like to type in type in the N word in your in your search text. <laughs> what? See what? if anyone's ever typed. I'm look in, mine up right now. Said oh, if anyone's ever sure. sent I'm you. Curious. Hold on. Wait 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 wait. So in my oh, email, if I, no no no, right here, right yeah, here, wait, wait, right wait, here. Wait. Scroll down on and hit uh, all my messages. Yeah. All right, so this is interesting. First, let's start slow. Let's go with. Okay. Well. Oh, all right, so. Uh, Ooh, wow. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. this all right, is. All right, I'm gonna go. K U N T. No. No. It's C- <laughs> yeah, I know. See you. Who do you or just say who you've had? All right, so I, I'm gonna so I'm gonna tell you the three. <laughs> I'm gonna say three her name. came up with. 
Ari Shafir was number one. Number two, you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And number three, Josh Price. My top are you. My second is um, Tiger Belly Crew. Delusional. <laughs> okay. What, what about you, Bert? I think Tom, that one came up. Tom Segura. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't. I you can't. can't I, I, can't I, can't I can't read it. I can't read it. I can't read any of these either. But I can show it to you, and you'll go, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or let's uh, try. You want to try the N word now? Yep. Let's yeah. go. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Beat this uh, nothing. Woo. Whoa. Oh wow. Yeah. I ha- oh. Yeah. How, oh. Many, how many? Do you Not have, for babe? me though. Yeah. I have one from a friend of mine yeah. who is. I would have never thought it would come from, but it comes out after she says "fucking Christian" something. Yeah, yeah. I have four. Four. I have four. Tell me with who. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> Time code those for me. <laughs> Just bleep them, right? Or no? Yeah, I'm gonna bleep them. The names? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. I feel. So- How many do you have, Bert? A lot. <laughs> It's all from the it's all from the same person. How many? Well, I, I have a lot of black friends too. Oh yeah, yeah. So th- that's typed in there, but I can't I can't really say this one. I'll okay. tell you, I'll tell you. Can you bleep this out? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's no, that doesn't surprise yeah, me. That doesn't yeah. surprise me. It's a tw- it's a tweet he must have sent, and so it's it's so uh, all the ones I have are are p- times people have said it, and people are going, "Hey, did you see dot dot dot?" No uh, one's using it. Yeah. 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 No one's using it. No one's it, using it in that way. They're they're talking about, "Did you see dot dot dot?" And uh, and so yeah, That's it's I, I did that I did that for I did that my email one time because I, I I'm a good person but I don't know you know like yeah so I, I think typed you are. It, I typed it in my email my search to see if I've ever it's ever been emailed to me uh, or I've ever emailed it and it came up and it was in my book I wrote it in my book and I was like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's it's not it was it was a it was growing up in Florida that word I'm I'm also 49 so like growing up in Florida. That word, I had a joke that had that word in it, and 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 uh, and I wrote it in my book about going to school in Tallahassee. I it was the first time I actually like heard like people saying it. And I went, I was like caught us off guard. Mm. But um, yeah, I, I tried to. It's a terrible world. It, word, world, and word. Yeah, word. <sighs> yeah, I hate it. But okay, you yeah. go, wait, what are you gonna ask me? Can yeah. we do something positive? Like, yeah, let's can we? Let's Google right. something. Let's do. I mean, let's search something positive. Okay. What's a positive? Okay. Thing? One a positive word. What, 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 what's a positive <laughs> word now? Uh, Not love. That's too. How that's about a, rainbow. Rainbow's a good one. I'm never gonna have that. <laughs> Let's see, rainbow. Ooh, I have a lot of rainbows. Mm. Rainbow wait, 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 roll. Wait, wait. Let's go more from rainbow roll. <laughs> I have. I have. It's all food. Two rainbows. It's all. It's all. Mine's all food too. Like, I have rainbow two. beet uh, hil- hilarium salad. <laughs> Mine are from my best friend Gardo, and then Esther. Hey, Bobby, Matt and I are trying to start an anti-rainbow movement. Oh, who? <laughs> that's not positive. That's, I swear to God. It's Happy Pride Month. For I know, but that's literally what somebody fucking texted me. What did it me. say? <laughs> hey, Bobby, Matt and I are trying to start an anti-rainbow movement. Did you reply? No. Like the actual rainbow? They're trying I don't to know anything rainbows? about it. Look, first, this guy's... Wait, I've never your, responded to this guy. Cover your phone. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, there, there's, no, there's no... Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, there... It, are, they're actually trying to stop rainbows or the rainbow movement. I have no idea, man. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. Do you have any rainbows? A couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me something. One more. Let's do one more Let's positive. Let's do one more. Um, how about uh, love? Love is too much. It's in everything. It's right? in everything. But who's right. your top? Anal sex. Anal. Anal, anal. anal sex is good. Anal, anal sex is positive. Just put anal. Anal. Uh, mine's Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have, ooh, I'll tell you who mine's with. So anal, I got, number one hit was Pete and Carlos Herrera. Uh-huh. <laughs> number two is Sosie Bacon. Yeah. And number three is Jules, talking about expressing our dog's anal glands. <laughs> I had one guy, I can't say his name, but he says, I'll get the Chinese anal COVID test too. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you the most random I have tests? no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have anal issues. <laughs> uh, is that so you saying to somebody or is someone just saying it to you? Someone said it to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think she used to do anal. She has anal herpes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anal make one hole. 
Oh, this has got to be bad. <laughs> what is it? Confucius say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Are uh, you be real? Seat geek. Hmm? Seat geek. Hmm? Seat geek. Oh. You guys, seat geek is my th- jam. I'll tell you why. Per Kreischer, right? He's doing shows. Fully loaded I might do tour. some. Fully loaded, right? That's where you get your tickets, SeatGeek. When I bought Juliana um, her Harry Styles tickets, I went to SeatGeek. When I buy my Dodger game tickets, I go to SeatGeek. Seat when I watch Bobby Lee at the Improv, I go, go to, to SeatGeek. Seat yeah. Whether it's concerts, baseball, basketball, football, festivals, or anything else, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. Okay, SeatGeek re- rates every ticket from 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting a good deal. Green means good. Red means bad. That's, See, pretty, eat. that's pretty easy to follow, don't you think? I love it. You can get $20 off your first purchase with the promo code belly at SeatGeek.com or on the SeatGeek app. That's promo code belly for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. SeatGeek, get your seat in a seat. seat Download geek. the app today. SeatGeek. Sakata! Sakata! When you nourish your body, you can transform your life. With Sakara's delicious plant-rich meal delivery program and functional wellness essentials, you can be in the driver's seat of your own health and experience true transformation. We have Sakara at home, dude, and I get like really good pure nutrients inside my body. And their salads are so They're delicious, so good. you guys. They really Sakara are. is a wellness company anchored in food as medicine on a mission to nourish your body through the power of plants. Also, they're like... <laughs> They're nutritionally designed, chef-crafted breakfasts, lunches, and dinners are made with powerful plant-rich ingredients, helping boost your energy, support oh. your digestion, curb your sugar cravings, and get your skin glowing. I love glowing skin. Plus, it's all delivered right to your door. Oh, I love their protein powders. Have you had their protein powders? Of course I do. That's what their I live plant on. plant protein powders. They also have teas, you guys. They, have the, metaboli- they have the metabolism super Metab- powder. <laughs> and they have their newest functional snack, Bobby. The super seed and nut blend. You guys, these are organic, ready to eat meals mm-hmm. that are so delicious, chef crafted, and you can get breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Absolutely, guys. And right now, Sakara is offering our listeners 20% off their first order when they go to sakara.com slash belly or enter code belly at checkout. That's sakara, S A K A R A dot com slash belly to get 20% off your first order. Sakara.com slash belly. You want to look like Bobby at 50 with his smooth, glowing skin? Mm-hmm. Sakara. Then start with Sakara. Let me, let me, t- we talked about earlier, I don't know if the camera, if your cameras were on, but mm-hmm. so in terms of comments, right, when people do negative comments, yeah, because I'm trying not to read that shit, yeah. right, because it spins my whole day or it just move, it just it's, switches my day around. It's amazing. It's amazing that someone, I mean, I almost want to send them money. That's how good they are at like nailing my insecurities. <laughs> yeah. They're, it's so amazing. What are your insecurities? Uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you that somebody th- can can comment on that's going to hurt your feelings. I'll tell you. Uh, number one is, um, uh, I, I'll tell you things that don't hurt. People say that I fuck dogs. That doesn't hurt me. Mm. Like there's certain <laughs> things. <laughs> like, like me too. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't that, hurt me that I either. smell like shit. I fuck dogs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Tom and I used to have jokes that I was like the most racist comic in America. So that uh, that kind of is not on the radar because radar, I know that whoever's typing it is a fan and they're trying to make a joke. Yeah. Uh, I, what really fucking bothers me is when someone, and it happens so much, is they whittle me down to a guy that has one bit and just is an alcoholic who takes his shirt off. Because I, because I, mm. I clearly I'm, I'm working on my fourth special. Clearly I, I'm more than that. Yeah. And I know it's not true, but man, it, like I remember, I can tell you different times I read that specific comment where like you mean the fucking hack that just takes his shirt off and gets drunk on stage, and I go. I go, yeah, I can see how you see that. <laughs> yeah. But but it's not accurate, but like that one fucks me up. Um for, I have the same he exact thing. He has date. the exact same thing. Because people go, like, God bless Bob Saget. Yeah. But he would always, whenever I would run into him, he goes, Hey, it's the naked guy. <laughs> the guy or he would say, the the guy that needs to get laughs by getting naked. Yeah. Right? And it used to hurt my heart. Soul. Oh, it's the hardest I've ever laughed. Do you remember me sending you that Nest Cam video? N- no. Oh, oh yeah, from your house. The hard, the hardest I've ever laughed. Yeah, when you get naked, I get. The I laugh too. The hardest I've ever laughed. I, we're, my girls and I are getting ready to go to school. Leanne, <laughs> Leanne, everyone's in the living room. Leanne yeah. is. Leanne is 
w- was really good friends with <laughs> Timothy Haddish's grandmother. Yeah. So they used to work at Lowry's together. So Leanne knew Tiffany Haddish's, knew of Tiffany way before anyone, like, because she worked with Miss, uh, what, I forgot her name, grandma's name. So um, so I said, hey, we're doing Goddamn Comedy Jam. I said, you got to see Tiffany. Tiffany really kills it. And she goes, really? And I so I, we play Tiffany, and the girls are sitting there. And and the girls, it's very moving. Tiffany murdered She that. Murdered, murdered it. Murdered it. And so we have tears in our eyes. It's that moving. And then I go, all right, let's go to school. And then Bobby Lee's next. And I go, oh, wait, Bobby's up. Hold on. We should watch Bobby. Bobby's very funny. And (laughs) you start getting naked, and I can't stop laughing. I'm crying. And I go, he's taking his dick out. His dick's in the, oh, my God. And Leanne's like, girls, girls. And they're like, is he naked, Mom? And they're little girls (laughs) at the time. And I'm like, and I'm like, and I can't stop laughing. I was the hardest laugh, and I screamed. I went to the Nest Cam and I grabbed me laughing and sent it to you. Yeah, because I was like, yeah, but that's everyone could do that. Like, there, there's a way to whittle down anyone's act. Yeah, and 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 regurgitate it to them. That's gonna hurt their feelings. Yeah, I mean, by the way, we could do it to the best comics. I won't because that's not my. That's not what I do. Yeah, I'll tell you this. I I saw. I saw. I'm I'm gonna try to t- speak in code so that no one can find what I'm talking about. I saw a woman oh, who this. who is oh, uh, who you could say uh, Whitney, not Whitney Cummings. No. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love this game. Um, and she, <laughs> she she posted a picture of herself in a bikini, and she maybe she doesn't have what society deems as the perfect body. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so, um, so I I read the comments, and I was like, I was like, I'm curious. That's really putting yourself out there. I yeah. very seldomly actually put myself out there. I I I. I don't, I think I'm like I don't take put, put pictures of my daughters on my feed if they end up in a story that's fine but I don't do that because we had some some legit issues with just horrific horrific human beings mm. and so and so I don't do that with my girls too much uh, at all really so I, and but I, I stay out of my comments because I just don't need it I don't need it I'm in, I'm having a great day I. I I look at my comments the way I look at a scale. What the fuck? Why am I going to look at that and ruin my day? Yeah. Like I, I, I'm, I'm in a good mood. I feel good about myself. I, if I get on Twitter, I go to verified, and because anyone who's verified is a real person. Yeah. And they're not going to say anything shitty, and if they do, maybe I need to hear it. Right. So, um, so I go into this this woman's comments and I start reading them, and they're all very, very positive. And then I read the negative ones, and that the negative ones said so much about the person leaving it that I, it was so clear to me. Yeah. That I saw that and I went, oh, oh, that's a ninth grade boy who just isn't happy with himself. Yeah. And then and then the ones that were great were, you see like the ones that really affected people were, the, the, it was, it was, there was an overweight widow and she said, you know, my husband's passed, but I wish I had been brave enough. He had asked me for a long time to wear a bikini. He said he loved what I looked like uh-huh. and I didn't. And I wish I had your bravery to, to show my body because he's no longer with us and I'll never... Now I'll never get the opportunity to wear a bikini. It was like, like so it's like the comment sections, and then, you know, it's obviously a bunch of Yes Queen and Go Girl and Fire, 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 Fire. <laughs> fire. And the, those ones, at, at a, there's so many of them at a certain point there, it's almost like, it's almost like uh, white noise. You're like, you're, like uh, you, you're commenting more to let everyone know you're a good person. Like, but the heartfelt ones. But the negative ones were so shitty that I was like, I was like, fuck. I, I used to not care at all. When we, Tom and I started fat shaming, I was like, oblivious and and i would read comments that were making fun of me that were so fucking hilarious yeah like when our fans used to fuck with us that was i'm saying i i would i ended up reading the comments and crying laughing i remember at one point someone said a phrase burt christ brent crystals or whatever they'd fuck my name up brent crystals says at least once a day and i read up to that point and i swear to god I said, ma'am, can I get some mayonnaise? And his line was, ma'am, can I get some mayonnaise? I swear to God. <laughs> and I, I started laughing so fucking oh, wow, hard. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so, but I stay out of the comments. Leanne will read everything. Leanne reads everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, she don't, but she's a fuck. She's like, she doesn't give a fuck. Look, I, I wanted to ask you earlier, when Leanne ripped um, the cord from your video games yeah. and said, "You've this is done, were you done? Yeah, I never. I've never played a video. I mean, I got I got a switch this summer, but uh, over the summer, I got a switch, but I haven't really played it. I pl- started playing Tiger Woods, but I couldn't really figure it out because video games have changed so much. You need to have an internet connection. I played it all wrong with you. What do you mean? 
I should have done a Leanne way early on. Oh, what about another one? Yeah, that is true. Leanne's a, Leanne's a uh, Leanne's a bad bitch. She is. She uh, I I, I don't I've that but I, fucking woman. But I think if if we had kids, mm. then it's an issue. Yeah. You mean I mean I for, I mean no offense. I'm just saying if I'm yeah. playing video games and there's kids running around and you're doing everything, I think that. You have every right to pull the cord. Got it. Okay. Right. But we don't have no kids. Right. Right. Yeah. You know I mean. Yeah. But but okay. So I'll flip it back to you and give you. Oh, un- flip it back, dog. Un- What's up? Unsolicited. Go ahead, unsolicited. man. So what about like what about? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but what about starting a garden like a real thing? I've always asked you that. Because you love farming up. <laughs> you keep laughing. Okay. A lot. Oh, all right. So hey, hey, pal. <laughs> hey, pal. Check it out, Bert. Pal. Hey, pal? Yeah, pal. All right, so <laughs> let me tell you something, okay? I love I know, Lawyer Bobby Lee. <laughs> l- l- okay, let me just say something to you, okay? okay? <laughs> Stop fucking doing this. Okay. All right, okay? All right. What I'm saying is it's just not a farming simulation, right? <laughs> okay. You build things. You you go. You fight monsters. You know. You fit. oh oh. There's oh. There's it's, so many other it's, things it's there. Who's that girl you keep giving gifts to on the on the right now? I'm, I'm giving gifts to Maru because I want her to be my wife. So wait. So wait. Hold on. So there's. <laughs> it's an RPG. It, it's a, it's an RPG. What's, why are you looking at him? What's an because RPG? he knows what RPG means. What's Role, RPG? Role playing game. Role yeah. But so okay. So you this make is clothes. This is the game it sounds like. Okay. So you're in bed with Kalila, and then all of a sudden your alarm goes off. You're like, fuck, sun's up. I gotta go start my game. And you you put on <laughs> your overalls and you put on your virtual goggles <laughs> and, <laughs> and you just start milking cows. <laughs> and, yeah. and just so you know. That's the game. Oh, this is so less interesting than I thought it would be. No, look at that. <laughs> this is so less interesting. Oh, I thought I thought you actually could like see yourself pulling corn up. You do. You do. This right here, let me say something right here. All that stuff that this guy has, he you have to build. <laughs> you put the ground down. Because when you first start off, right, Gilbert? It's hard. You're, it's just, you have nothing. It's dirt. just trees. It's just dirt. So wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Wait, so, um, it, this seems so, like. What? So you just walk around and, like, get on a horse and then walk into this field and. No, you, you, no it's not just that. <laughs> bro, bro, you have to plow you have to put fertilizer down. You have to plant crops. You know what I mean? But have you, maybe if you tried doing that in this in the real world, you didn't. I don't that. have. Listen, I live in. No, but maybe get a piece of land I live, and then wake up every morning and go out and farm. Maybe you like farming. Hmm, people like, like really people farming. like farming. He doesn't like sunshine. I don't like sunshine. Okay. You know what I mean? I get my sunshine from here. Maybe like a. <laughs> do you have a you have a tanning game you do? <laughs> I mean, this sounds. I, I yeah, know that. Yeah, I know that. I yeah, sound yeah. like the guy. I sound like the guy that I was when the internet came out, and I was like, "Okay, so you're telling me one day I'll get my groceries on the internet?" And then and my buddy's like, "Yeah, that's how that'll work." And I'll be like, "Okay, okay," and I'll just. I'm not going to movies anymore. I'll just go watch it on my TV. Okay. Why didn't I, Why I, didn't you play golf when you were playing Tiger Woods? You played Tiger Woods, can right? I tell you what's crazy. Can I tell you what's crazy? Yeah. Is um, I played Pebble Beach. Okay. And and on the third hole, I stopped and I went, I've played this course before. <laughs> See? And my dad goes, what? I go, dad, oh my God, I, I've played this course hundreds of times. Yeah. I know where to lay up. I know where to hit. Yeah. This is, I, so dad, it I gave you the edge. Yeah, because I played it so much on Tiger Woods <laughs> that on, on, mm-hmm. on the back nine, on I think maybe 14, I drove the green because I knew you could drive the green over the trees. And I told the caddy, Who's only played the, in, in real life? His name's Slick or something. I told him. I said, uh, "I think this green's drivable," and he said, "It's not." I said, "With a little bit of tailwind, wow. it's drivable. You just got to go over those trees." He goes, "No, you, you can't go over those trees. You won't make it." And I said, "I think I can." And I and it was an obnoxious thing. So if you go to drive a green, you have to wait until that party's off the green. So yeah. you're actually kind of holding people up. So everyone teed off, and he said, "He said, I, I think it's whole." I think it's, uh, I think it's, I can tell you exactly what it is. I think it's whole 15. And so, <laughs> and, and so I fucking waited. I waited and I drove the fucking green. Uh. And he goes, I've never seen anyone drive the green here. And I said, I drive the green here all the time. This is my shot. 
This is where I, I make up strokes. Yeah. I will say this about his knowledge about farming and mahogany trees and sturgeon fish. His knowledge of everything is pretty impressive. Post-apocalyptic, that yeah. could really come to good use. Yeah, if we are an apocalypse. and Yeah. That is insane that Bobby would be the most useful man in apocalypse because all he's been doing is farming virtually. <laughs> yeah. That, he, that is, he knows how to extract caviar or like everything yeah. from the game. You make caviar in the At game. At a sturgeon? Yeah, you yeah. Make, I, yeah, I get to a sturgeon row and I make caviar out of it in these barrels. Okay. That's so cool. I know how to see. Wine? Yeah. Wine. Do you know what would be Have cooler? You, yeah. Is if you really made caviar. <laughs> that would be cool. That would so be cool. cool to, one day, know, one day. One, they, they argue, it's, it's argued that the best part of caviar is not virtually making it, it's actually eating it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's like, well, we. I got a. I got an Oculus. Brian Simpson came to my house. Yeah. And he was like, man, he knew me so much better than I knew myself. He goes, uh, he's like, hey, uh, uh, I got it, brought my Oculus. You should try it out. And so I tried it out and I was blown away. And then he, Peter, who's like a little bit of a like nerd, like he knows stuff like you guys do. He uh he was like, you know, they have VR sex. And I went, that I, that'll fuck I, me up forever. I, I, I do it. I've, I've done it. No, yeah, yeah. The I VR know. porn. I know. It's the best. Can you do it while you're having sex with an actual person? That would be fucking awesome. No, I've never what? done that. And the person's just taking yeah. it. And but replying. what's the problem? The problem with VR, <laughs> but the VR porn is, you know what I mean? So you're laying there. So the feet, because you can, the feet stick out, and it's always a white dude, mm -hmm. right? So it throws me off a little bit. Wait. Uh, yeah. So your legs I, are pretty white, sweetheart. And no, but it's long, and okay. it doesn't have the kind of same. So when I'm on the VR, <laughs> the feet come out, and it's like. Uh, you know, Ari Shafir's legs. And so I had to get used to that first. I go, I guess those are my legs, right? And a girl comes in and she's like, ah, you're laying there again, right? And then they come up and they'll come up and they'll go off screen and pretend you're, they're kissing you. Oh, you like that. I do like that. But I, when I look with my VR, it's just black space. Oh. So it throws me off. Uh. Yeah. So then I can't turn. You know what I mean? If I turn like this, black space, it throws me off. So I just go like this. I go, oh. And then I start getting erect, right? And it's like, it's weird. It, it feels like the real thing, but in certain spots, it's black. Mm. So it, you, it, you, it just throws you off a little bit. I was attracted to one Asian chick. Wow. What? Really attracted to her. You, I just, because I was sitting here going, I've, I've always found Asian chicks hot, but I never like knew any that I was like, that I courted one mm. really fucking hot. And she didn't like it, did she? No, you know, I, we're actually still friends. I, I've been bad with that. Like sometimes I, th here's been my problem is I've never been good at a first kiss, but I've had two occasions, this and another girl, who were two of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, without a doubt. And they told, both of them told me at one point, the problem is uh, uh, guys, uh, something to the effect of, uh, all guys just want to do is have sex or, or, or hook up with me. No one wants to be my friend. And... They share that with me, and this, and once they share that with me, I go, well, I can't try to kiss them now because I'm b betraying the fact they just shared something with me. And mm -hmm. so I don't know if they're doing it to let me know, don't kiss me. Uh -huh. But I know I've never, I never kissed them. I remember I was in bed with one girl, and we were talking, we were giggling, just fucking around, you know, talking. Oh shit, it's my daughter. Hang on, answer, answer. Hang on. What's up? Hi. Yeah. Where you at? I'm, I'm at uh, I'm at Bobby Lee's house. Who's that? <laughs> It's it's a friend. You're on a podcast. What do you need? Oh, I was gonna. I was just asking where mom was. Oh, she's in the podcast studio. She's doing a podcast with Lacey. Oh, okay, bye. Bye. Um, so who that hurt? So that, who that? That, that hurt. Who that? And the worst. No, just stop, stop, stop. That hurt so bad. <laughs> That's worse than any comment. It's not even who's that. Who that? Who that? No, she wasn't doing an Asian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who that? Who that? Oh. Um, so the, those, so, but one of the girls was Asian and, uh, beautiful. I think she was Filipino. Mm. I think, I don't know. But you, yeah, I was did really Did you kiss good? Mm, I don't think so. I know either. I'm not good, right? Be honest. You have your own very specific style that I respect, but. <laughs> That's so not a good thing. So romantic. Like, like That's like not a good thing. So romantic. Okay, so if, okay, if can I'll, I just say this? Yeah. yeah. I think you kiss exactly like how I imagine Esther Pavitsky kisses. You just go for it, and it's aggressive, and it's full of tongue right out the gate. Oh wait, that's me. 
That's me too. That's me. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I like. I like a lot of. I like to be in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even on the first kiss, you don't start slow. You just go. No. For it. no oh no. no no no. I don't do bottom lip work. Oh, I, like you do. I, oh, I, I, no, I do slow and sensual. Yeah. You're like, let's go for it. Yeah, I like the mouths closed and have it like a machine. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, I, so the tongues go and turn it on. He just opens and then... The yeah, 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 yeah. I like I, that. I, uh, I, I offer out my lip because it's really great. I have a great bottom lip. So I'll just <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. I learned how to eat pussy by watching Cat House. Like, I had never known... <laughs> I, I had done this thing that I had in... In eighth, no, ninth grade, no, it must have been 10th grade. 10th grade, we were at Andre Kerwin's house, and they had a Playboy, and they, they said the thing to do was to uh, to put your lips around her, suck it in, and then and then go take your tongue and just go, Brrrrat. and so I, that's what I did, and it did not work for, I mean, <laughs> I don't think it worked for anybody. I am ever. very, uh, my policy is do not suck on the labia, please. Yeah, why? It does not feel good for me. I don't yeah. know if some women like it. But that is that is way too much. It's like overstimulating. Yeah, I think you want to go light, light touches, light touches. I remember if it's licking, light licking. Leanne would go. You're, I, you're. She's like, I'm not critiquing you. It's just you makes me feel like I got to take a piss. Yes, it's yeah. too much. It's too much. H- how about this? How about new rule? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why? It's my pleasure. I know. I'm just just listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Just hear me out. You're right. Doing your best. Okay. Right. Right. I'm down there. Right. Yeah. I have the outfit on. What What's outfit? The outfit. It's just not. It's not. <laughs> Help. No, no, no! It's not that. It's just I have my own outfit on. Samurai. Samurai. It's not a, a literal outfit. It's what I imagine I'm wearing. Okay. Like a cape. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And and a, like a sea helmet from the future. Yeah, but you're not a big pussy eating guy. I am. <laughs> I just don't think that my style. You don't like it. No, it's okay. Here's the thing right? with you: because it's like I you do... don't seem like you're really in it. You you do it. You like you phone it in. Ooh. See, that hurts Ooh. my feelings because I'm doing 100% my best. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I'm doing my best. I'm here to tell you that's not your 100%. Wow. Well, how do you know what my limits are? You know why? Why? You never look up and check to see where I'm at. I don't look. Lock eyes. That's creepy. No, but you, like, <laughs> if, does she like it? Does she not like it? No, asked? I'm doing a job. I'm not going to look. You've never, if I'm working in a factory, right? And I'm, let's say I'm working in a factory. I'm not going to look at the boss and go. How am I doing? You see how Leanne was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm doing oh, the oh. job. Can I tell you? Am I not right? Bobby, I'm, I'm, yeah. My favorite part is to look up. As a matter of fact, so much Thanks, Bert. that the porn that I started watching the most yeah. was POV of looking up <gasps> because that's my favorite part. Leanne looks the hottest Thank you. from that angle. Also, you know what that says to me is that you care how it feels for me. Oh, well, yeah. I, 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 I. Okay. Enjoy go- I enjoy going down on Liam more than having sex with her. He thinks it's just a form of artistic expression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it, no, no, no. I don't know. Here's what the deal: I would never have a company with you. Why? Because you're like for me, it's like I'm looking at the floor at people that are working that are working for me. Okay. They better be doing their job. Guess if what? they're locking eyes Guess with me, what? we what? have a company together. I know, but we don't have a lot of employees, and these two, <laughs> they never look at me. <laughs> Right, look, they're doing just their jo- out of this book. Yeah, yeah, they're doing their <laughs> fucking jobs, right? And when I'm down there working, yeah. right, with your vagina, right, I'm not gonna lock eyes because I'm focused on one fucking thing. I have a question. Go ahead. Why do you like it so much when I look up at you? Ooh. Oh, you got me there. <laughs> you got because I'm not a good employee. And you like it when you cross your eyes, babe. Cross your eyes. Cross. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like it. She's, <laughs> like she's special needs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you cross your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank God they're naturally that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it when and it's you know like what? this. What? I try so hard, don't I? And I ask questions. What I can't about come. This? What about I can't here? come that way. I can't come that what? way. What? I've never come through a blowjob. Oh, you might be gay then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't think so. Bobby, I'm not. Bobby, that's my favorite way. I, how long does it take, though? I, that's the fun of it. You don't Dude, know. Let me tell you something. It, Leanne is top notch <laughs> at that. And I don't know if it's because most of her family can't read, but, <laughs> but it, 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 she is a home run hitter. To the point when the first one I got from yeah, her, yeah. I went, okay, I'll marry her. Oh, I, wow. I can have that for well, How long does it take? It takes a while, and I like that. No, like what? At, 30 minutes? So she. I look, I don't know what Leanne does. No, I don't know. Not 30 minutes. Yeah. I don't know what she does. So two things happen. Number one, I, blowjobs are my favorite. That's my favorite. And so, I, but sh- it does take w- a while because what the fun of it is that it builds. It builds. It builds. Leanne does this thing. I don't know how. To, I can't explain it really, but it's kind of like, you ever seen a, a mom clean up her kid's ice cream cone on a hot summer day? <laughs> 
yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 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 um. Yeah. And so, so, and but, it, she, Aunt Leanne, in a weird way, kind of reads my body, <laughs> and then just. It's almost like she's just flicking me, like to get me over the edge, and then, mm. and then all of a sudden, Edging. by that time, you're holding onto the fucking side of the bed, going like, ah! and yeah. I'm not a talker during sex, yeah, and it, um, that's the best. But then what happened is, Doctor Drew's wife told Leanne, "You don't need to give him a full blow job every time; just give him one to start him off." And that set that awakens everything for me, and then the sex is better. So like sometimes you just go down there for like. Three minutes, two minutes, and that'll wake everything up. But uh, but it's she, crazy. She, she, she sighs. I don't sigh. Yeah, yeah. When she's instead down of, there, instead of gagging, she just goes. Yeah, she, <laughs> uh, she goes. Well, that's only because he's like, "Can you be Brandon?" And I have to be like, "I'm Brandon." <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Cross your eyes, I'm Brandon. Brandon. You like this? That was only one fucking thing we did. Okay? Oh, Bobby. We did one fucking role play as Brandon. Coach, coach was wrong on us today, Bobby. <laughs> and for you to bring that up every fucking time is fucking wrong. All right? One role play. All right. I like Brandon. Brandon. He's a good dude. He's a good All right. And he's, he, he's over 18. <laughs> All right. So it's not weird. All right? Oh, that's so funny. Or unhelpful funny. advice. Can, we, can you be Brandon? <laughs> uh, you want it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll open advice with Bert Kreischer. Hey guys, uh, my name is Jung. I'm 25. I currently reside in Portland. I'm had I've had trouble adapting and talking to people and creating relationships due to my trauma as a kid. Like yourself, I was also physically abused by my father, but in my mind right now, I knew I deserved it because I was very ungrateful and didn't realize how blessed we are. Though through my trauma, I'm now not able to look at people in the eye, especially girls. And with the pressure of being the oldest son in the family, it's getting to me because I'm getting older and my current outlook, I don't think I can meet their expectations. I just want my family to be happy and proud of me, but right now, I'm having a hard time with my current outlook meeting those expectations. In short, I'm scared to be alone in the future with nobody, and I just want to know, how can I meet my family's expectations of being successful and creating relationships? Whoa. I'm confused. Does he want jealousy yeah, or does he want to make his family happy? I think both, but also I think he's nervous that he literally cannot look at women in the eye. Hmm. And he I was that way. He won't have a wife. I was that way. Women and cops used to fucking... I looked at women like police officers. Whoa. Like I couldn't... Like Whenever I got pulled over when I was like 19, I, would, I wouldn't lock eyes with them. And with women was the same thing. Really? Yeah, I was just so scared of both, you know? Mm -hmm. And then one day I realized that, oh, I'm never going to get them. I'm never going to get cops to like me, and I'm never going to get women. Mm -hmm. So why worry about it? And then once I had that adjustment in my mind, it was fine. I could look at cops in the eyes and look at women in the eyes. You know, it's just, it's like you got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired of that feeling. Also, it's like all that shit is motive. Like for me... And I, people are going to say I'm wrong, but the whole reason why I did stand up in the first place is so that women would like me, mm -hmm. right? And it, for me, it were, it's sad, but it's like the first woman that I didn't have to pay for that had sex with me was when I did stand up. I was 23 years old, and I've told the story a million times. And um, so use it as a motivation factor, motivating factor. That's actually a pretty insightful thing because... Uh, I'll take it one further, and this no. is what Rogan would say: Go and take a class in something that, like jujitsu, that has you deal with conflict. So I have really bad anxiety. By the way, I wanted to compliment you guys. I was having horrible anxiety all day today, and I haven't thought about it once. Oh, okay. I've been here. Um, it's been so fun. I, yeah, it's been fun as shit. The, um, but doing stand up or taking a class or doing something like so, I have social anxiety. And I know this doesn't seem like it would be real, but like uh, going, doing something new, getting in a line, getting a table. Um, like when everyone goes and says, oh, we'll go grab the food, you grab a table, that it fucks me up really bad. Getting in a line fucks me up. You know that. I just will not stand on the line. I cannot stand on the line. It makes me crazy. Um, going into a class, like going into um, like a spin class, and I love spin classes, it gives me so much anxiety, especially like, and it has from my childhood because my mom would like. I remember I wanted the Luke Skywalker uh, doll, <laughs> whatever thing. And my mom, we went into a toy store, and my mom didn't really know what it was. She's like, "Do you have like the Luke Skywalker thing?" And this some kid was like, "I don't think so." And I remember my mom turning to me and she, she goes, "So what do you want to do now?" And I remember melting down and being like, 
do not involve me in this equation. I'm fucking six. Like, just you talk to the guy. Get us the fuck out of here. Yeah. And so I can't. I have a hard time. So I used to challenge myself by going to spin classes or a yoga class. Dude, yoga class is the fucking ultimate worst for me. Because, especially in L.A., because you got to show up, you got to sign up, you got to go. And then the second the doors open, everyone races for a spot to put their mat. And it's like fucking yeah. mayhem. Mat to mat to mat to and mat. I am, I am melting the yeah. fuck down. So, but taking a class, I, like I went to do jujitsu. And because uh, I was like, because Rogan, was, I, he was like, man, if you get into jujitsu, that confrontation will do you good. Daily confrontation will do you good. And I went, and I had the hardest time. I couldn't even. I didn't even know what to say because I was like, I was so overwhelmed by everything. And Eddie Bravo was so nice, but I just was like, I love Eddie. I was like, I, I, I just, he was like, come, come back tomorrow, and I was like, it's never gonna happen. I just left. <laughs> yeah, I just left, and I was like, that's. I, I was sweating and shaking at the end. And I know that sounds crazy, but stand up was like that for me when I started to go up to a club and say like, Hey, man, how do I? Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. But then you then you do it, and your confidence level builds, and you become very confident and go. Oh, I'll go. I remember the last one I had to do that was like that. Oh, my God. Ooh. Uh, London Comedy Store. So I, I'm flying back from somewhere, from like Amsterdam or something. Yeah. And they're like, hey, uh, my manager's like, we got you a spot at the st comedy store in London. And I was like, okay. And I had a camera crew with me. We were filming a documentary. And so I was going. Stand up is different in London. It will. It's, and I don't, no one knows me. Yeah. And so I go over. And I walk up, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable enough to be like, I think I have a spot. And the guy looks down and he goes, not here, bruv. And I'm like, <laughs> there's a black dude too, big yeah. black dude. Yeah. He goes, not here, bruv. Another place, another day. And I was like, <laughs> I was yeah. like, no, I, th I think I do. And he goes, no, not tonight. No, everyone on the list. And like, there's a comic standing there. And he goes, who are you? I said, I'm a comic from the States. He goes, that's all you guys do. Come over here and try to take our spots. No, sp no spots for you. Like total wow. Everyone was being total fucking yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm pretty certain that my management has set this up. And I was like, but I just want to give up. I'm like, I'm out. I'm so embarrassed right now. Yeah. Like I get embarrassed very easily. Yeah. So and I know that people go, that's oh, you could whittle this down right now and go, that's why you drink. That's the whatever the fucking thing is. But I'm stone sober and I'm like, oh my God. So then finally the DJ comes out and he goes, Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can do 10. And I was like, okay. So they're like, in the green room. And then I get in the green room. And by the way, let's not forget. I'm a really good stand-up, okay? Like, but I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I can't imagine if I sucked and I had no ability how I'd feel. I go in and they're the comics in the back are fucking with me. They're like, they're like, uh, all right, mate, you want to work here? Number one thing, mind the light, mind the light, and 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 keep it clean, keep it clean. Best thing in the thing. And I said, I go, I was thinking, I was joking. I go, what's the light? And they were like, don't know what the fucking light is. <laughs> don't know what the f And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. And so then I'm like, oh. everyone gets great intros. And my intro is like, all right, we got another one of these from over across the pond. Put your hands together for this bloke from America. But oh, all right, come on, let's go. Like, <laughs> yes. And so I go on stage. And if there's one thing I can do good is stand up. And I fucking lit that room on fucking fire. I did seven minutes because fuck them, right? Yeah, yeah. You want? Oh, yeah, fuck them. Supposed to do ten? I did seven. Yeah. Got the light as soon as I saw the light. I'm, I'm fucking not gonna run the light at all. I get off, and the comics are sitting in the green room, jaws on the ground, and one goes, "So you've done this before?" And I was like, "Oh, I yeah, hate yeah. them." I was like, "Yeah, sweet. You guys, this is how you just treat people." Yeah. And by the way, I like I don't I don't remember any of those dudes' names, but I remember being like. I remember being like, I will never work at this club again. Yeah. Like, and, and I, like, I just was so like, it, but by the way, we'd be like that at the store, I'm sure. I mean, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if but I'm somebody sure there's has guys. An, I, whenever somebody has an English accent, I'm like, oh, they got to be big. Yeah. Oh, like Jimmy yeah. Carr or something. You like, know by the way, all the fucking right? British comics I know are fucking awesome. They're dudes. so good. You they're know all I mean? fucking really talented. Yeah, yeah. And they're amazing on podcasts. Yeah, they're amazing. All of them. Yeah. And, but man, that one experience. Rattling. You and I are similar because uh, what, what would you do in this situation? So one day I was at the Seattle Parlor Live, and I was had already done a couple of sh sold every show out, and I went to the club. I try to get in because I'm headlining, and the doorman goes, "Hey man," he pushes me back and he goes, we, "We're sold out," and I I left. I did. I, I, would you do the same? I got. I'll tell you this. <laughs> so last time I was in, I was in England. I was or. Uh, 
Great Britain or whatever it's called, and we were in uh, Manchester. Yeah. And so sold out two th- shows at a theater, and I tell everyone we're going, me and Mark Norman, I said, we're going to a bar around the corner. Uh, I'll meet you there. So fucking 6,000 people all fled to this bar, and it and the line is around the fucking corner. Right? Wow. And I walk up, and they see me, and they're like, yeah, and I was like, well, whatever, it's packed in there. So I go up to the front, and I was like, hey, man, uh, I think we're going to try to come in and have a drink, and it's a... Uh, He's like, not today, bruv. Get at it. it. Beat it. And I was like, no, I think I'm. He goes, I told you to leave. And I went, all right. I said, well, if, if I leave, I, it's going to just, you know, I think everyone's going to leave the bar also. And he goes, oh, okay, okay. Get walking. And I went to the line. I said, all right, we're going to go find another bar. Someone tell the people inside. Someone goes, we're leaving. And a fucking I love the story. Everyone. I love everyone. Story. Maybe, and I'm not even joking, maybe twelve hundred people start to move with me. And the guy goes, Why wait, wait? What the fuck are you doing? You everyone stay here. And I said, Hey man, you're not gonna let me in. And they're like, You're not letting the machine in. And he goes, Who the fuck's the machine? I go, I'm the reason everyone's here. He goes, What? What? He goes, We're waiting some for some fat comedian. And I went, Oh, that's me. And I took my shirt off and he goes, Oh, that is you. Okay, come on in. And then we went you in. You should have left. No, we went you in. You leave. No, the guy was doing his job. We went in and we parted our dick oh, off. Oh, you leave. Shirtless. We had a room full of men shirtless in a I mean fucking stayed until four in the morning, did a bunch of promo reads. Oh, it was fucking oh my and that God. guy came up and, and apologized profusely. But yeah, I'm the same way. If someone says no to me, that happened that happened. Recently, were you in San Francisco with us? Yeah. And and the guy, I was. What happened? What happened? I got nervous. I he asked for. I'm so fucking comfortable right now, and I've not been comfortable all day. Oh. Um, I got nervous. <laughs> we went. So we went. We got a we got a table upstairs at this bar, and then they said they couldn't accommodate us. That it was they they were mistaken, but that they could serve us at their bar. They have a boutique whiskey bar next door. So we go over. This is like heat of COVID. We all boosted up, and he, he's like, I need to see your driver's license and your booster shot. It's a fucking meathead dude. <laughs> and uh, and I was like, okay. And I'm a little hammered, right? Yeah. We just got done. I think I just smoked. And I pull out. I have three driver's license. One's expired. <laughs> one's an ID, and one's a driver's license. Yeah. As soon as I pull out three, and he goes, no, 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 bro, no, bro, no. And I pull out and I pull him, give him the expired one. And he goes, it's expired, back of the line. And I went, okay. So I go to the back of the line. We're with like 20 people. I go to the back of the line and he starts letting people in and I get up to him again and I'm so fucked up, I give him the expired one again. <laughs> and he goes, not you tonight. And I went, okay. I go, well, tell everyone we're leaving. And he goes, no, they're staying, you're going. And I went, we're all leaving. And I, and I just go, all right, guys. And then everyone starts leaving. He goes, no, where the fuck are you guys going? And I said, they're here with me. And so we start to leave. We start to walk away. And the manager of the bar is like a huge fan. He goes, where the fuck are you going? I said, we're not allowed in. And he goes, the, who the fuck said that? And I yeah. go, the bouncer. And he goes, God damn it. So he goes up and he says, he goes, they're going in. He goes, not him. And he goes, no, he's definitely going in. He's the reason they're all here and yeah. they're all here. And he was, and the guy's like, the guy's like, the f- he, he's got an expired license. And I'm so drunk. I'm trying to explain myself. Remember, I kept going, this is all my fault. Like, I'm trying to. <laughs> I go, he's doing his job. I'm fucking up. I go, I guess keep giving him the wrong driver's license. Yeah. And then and and then I think they made him apologize to me. And and he had to come in. And this was not this was not the type of guy that apologizes to people. Yeah. Woo. I've had two of those. I've had two of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two dudes who have probably never said sorry in their life. Ever. Two dudes. And it was fucking insane to watch it. And I was yeah. like, like I, how, I, how did he come up? Probably oh. no eye contact. No eye down. contact. Mm. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen. My, my. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My man. <laughs> so, and I, I just went, hey, man, you don't have to do this. I, I, I get it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't, like, I don't want you to feel like my job isn't. I fucked up. I kept pulling out the wrong ID. He was being a dick. He was being a real dick. A very fucking genuine dick. I've had a couple people be real dicks where you go. But then all of a sudden, they realize who they're being a dick to. And it's almost like getting caught on camera. Because mm-hmm. then they go, oh, fuck. I've been dicks to a lot of people. And I did it to one that counts. They, yeah. they can get me fired. Yeah. But I, I've always, I'm always like, I'm always like, hey, man, no, no one ever has to apologize to me. Because I fuck up so much. 
I fuck up so much. Like whenever anyone's too drunk and they're like, I oh, acted like an asshole last night. I go, I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're the, this is your safe space. Me, you can, you can say you can do, you can really fuck up as my friend. The only person that fucked up the most that it was a hard person to forgive was Ari. Mm -hmm. That was oh, a, right. that was a hard one. That was a really hard one. But I got past it. Leanne didn't. I don't think she, she should. No, Leanne hates him. So do my daughters. They hate him. Yeah, I mean, what he did was crazy. Yeah, but but I we're but, not gonna talk about it. But no, no, we talked about no. it before. Yeah, but I I, I th that was like a real that was a real moment of like going because I have this thing. Me and you both have this thing, and I and I, and we've talked about it before on a podcast uh, about uh, sometimes we get taken advantage of by other people, mm. and 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 it I, and that's why I identify very clearly with you a lot is that I go. I go. You're 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 mistaking my, my kindness for weakness, mm. and it really fucking makes my skin crawl. And I've talked to Rogan about this ad nauseum about uh, don't mistake just because I'm nice and I'm giggly and I don't I try not to take things too seriously that I'm a, a weak human being and you can have your way with me. Yeah. And I, the the problem with Ari is Ari knew that's how Ari knew that's something I was already feeling, and so I had to have a moment where I was like, do I can I can I forgive him? Did he apologize to your wife? Uh no I don't think no yeah I think, I, but I don't I don't think because he didn't want to or anything I think because she won't speak to him every time you come here you say that I can come to your house meet your family I've never been invited yeah well you can no but you don't invite me you gotta fucking invite me I didn't know where this conversation was going yeah okay no it just it just dawned on me it's like <laughs> you know what I mean I don't know your family yeah no yeah you that, who's that is ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> no I, I I'm gonna think, fight for myself. I, said, I can't know it bothers who that who it dat? bothers me, right? <laughs> so what I'm saying to you, Bert, <laughs> is I remember the last time you're like, you should come over. We had all these plans to do a triathlon, all these things. Oh, yeah. They never come into fruition. <laughs> right? Let's, let's make it happen. No, no. So you have to invite me over I'm so that who's that doesn't happen. I'm I'm <laughs> home all of July. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not famous enough for people to even I'm, know. I mean, no what one, the fuck? No one comes to my house. No one comes to my house. Like no, I'm. But I'm never there. I live on. the Did road. Ari come to your house before he did what he did? Yes. Yeah. Then, that, then that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they loved Ari because Ari. Sucked. Stop saying that. <laughs> they love because they Ari. know him. That's uh, uh, that's all I want is for them to know my fucking name. God, it's ridiculous. Okay, man. okay, we're gonna do this. Let's have some education. I'll get. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Educate my Kate, them man. <laughs> I mean, it's it's driving me crazy. This thing. All right, we're gonna have it. It was it, worse than any comment. What? Go is ahead. The triathlon dead? No. No, but we we talk about it. We talk about it because every time he comes here, we make plans. Again. And I bet you money, the next time you come here, it'll be a year from now, and I've still not been met your family. <laughs> and they're gonna double down on the who's that? <laughs> who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> it's not funny, man. It hurts my feelings. I. I will make sure that happens. <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? It's going to happen. Yeah, It'll yeah. definitely Is happen. it because I don't drink? I, no, 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 no. No one else drinks in my family. <laughs> I'm the only one. <laughs> we can't, I can't come over and do a pool thing? Yeah, no. We'll do, how about 4th of July? We'll have a big 4th of July party. You will? And you come, and you, and you can come will you have one? Girls. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Well, I'm home 4th of July, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, if you I'm, don't, I, I'm telling you right now, we're going to have a we're gonna have a Brendan Schaub situation. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't about, invite me to the party, don't, say, don't edit that out. I was about to don't say. edit it. That's the worst thing I could say to somebody, right? <laughs> that is the worst thing I could say. We could have a shop, all right? All right, so oh, be fucking careful, dude. My daughters love bread. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? Who that? Who that? Who that? You fucking kidding me right now, dude? Oh god. Oh. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh my dad. god. He just shows so up mad. with really expensive cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. What are your kids like? Uh, Isla is fucking weird as shit. That's the who dat. Isla's the one that's in all my acts. Like, all she right, is what does she fun. like? Help him out. Come what on. does she like? Because I'm going to bring gifts. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the best thing that they like. Uh, Isla, Isla was really into anime. Oh, like, oh really yeah, I like, anime. okay. So anime expert because of Jules. For Jules so what kind of, can oh, you find out what anime she our, likes? My, our, my niece who lives with us, that her whole life is anime. Yeah, yeah. So. But, you got, love, but there's so much anime out there. So you, give me, you got to give me a two or three things that she likes okay. that I can get either a rug. Mm -hmm. Oh, she'll, she, she was a closeted anime fan because she was afraid it wasn't cool. Oh, it's so and, cool. And okay. she's obsessed. Uh, she would go to the big anime conventions down at the Staples Center. 
and just buy anime art. Like she, wow. she's a real big artist. Yeah. So um, tell me what she liked, and what's your other daughter's name? Georgia. Georgia. What does she like? Um, uh, just not being around me lately. No. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> no, no. She's she's just getting old, and she's like, she. I you know I think they got robbed for their youth because of COVID. So at the times when Georgia should have had her first kiss and and boyfriend and all that, she was stuck in the house with me. Mm. And uh, and so I think that right now they're getting to live that. And so she, I mean, she they went to a big party last night, and and I think we're at the place now where like you know we go. Did you guys get wasted? Did you did you party? And she was like, Nah, I did not really. But she goes, Some people did. But she's a uh, She's she's a really smart person. She's a great writer. I'll get her a bong. <laughs> She'd like that, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> like a high end bong. If you get her a high end bong, water bong, yeah. She go, oh, cool. She's just she, she's at a place where it's like her dad's not cool. So like, I yeah, and like you're the coolest dad you could ever have. Uh no, not really. <laughs> well, did she, she has friends that have cooler dads? Uh, she she does. Yeah, I mean, she's got, but her dad. She, so it's like if you're funny professionally and then you it's a different it, someone opened the garage door <laughs> no, it's just things happening again are you gonna stop it the fuck is it gonna fuck it all up let's just don't 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 stop it what is it it's our water thing okay just sit that back down okay. think about this is this podcast oh. is going too long anyway yeah we're at hour 30 yeah yeah so wait we wait. only do an hour why because that, that's what we do. You really know how to push it. Yeah, man. you know how to push it, and we're not pushing it right now. And that's God saying, that's we're done. Yo, low key. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that's, that God saying? Yeah, it's God saying. Do we believe in God? I do. I do too. That says not a thing. Get that thing. So, so, so here's the deal, all right? Okay. Let's wrap it up by saying this. Keep that on, right? Yeah, I'll keep it on. No more who's that. We're going to resolve that, okay, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. And Fourth number, of July. It's Fourth of July, all right? Is, is there anything you want me to do? In uh, life, to, to be a better friend. Um, can we start texting more often? Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. Okay. Because that's like my, 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 my feeling. Love language. I, I don't have a, I'm not good with texting people. So I feel, I get embarrassed. So I don't text them. I just, I kind of keep to myself. I'm going to get annoying, give you annoying I, I texted you the other day. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I swear to God you didn't. No, I texted you the N-word. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> George, if you turn it off, will it fuck up my water like it did last time? We don't know. No, no. What, what is it? Is it a hot water heater? Yeah. It's, a it got, it's God saying oh. we're done. So give Bert. Soft water? Anything to promote. Anything to promote, Bert. Oh, yeah. The tour I asked you to come do with me. <laughs> Fully loaded. I wish I did it. I, you were like, you were one of my first names. I know. I should have done it. Yeah, you and you and Donnell were my first names. Oh. So who's doing it? Uh, Dave Attell, Shane Gillis, Mark Norman, Nikki Glazer, Taylor Tomlinson, Fortune Feimster, wow. uh, Sal Volcano, Big J Okerson. How much time do people do? Uh, we're gonna make it pretty light, so everyone just murders for like what fifteen minutes? Yeah, fifteen minutes. Is it too late to do? A little bit. Well, I don't know. Tell tell me a date you can do, it and and I'll, I'll put if you have a it. fallout, I, I want to do it. Okay. All right. I wasn't feel when I got the offer. I wasn't feeling good about my act. Yeah. Right. But now I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah. We sold out. Uh, we've sold out. I think three markets already. So um, honestly, if you have a fallout, please let me be on the. the, the we sold out. I think South Bend, and Dayton, mm -hmm. Rochester, and Louisville are close, and Lawrenceville. And so we still have tickets available in Greenville, South Carolina, Bristol, Tennessee, and Brandon, Mississippi. And I'm doing Red Rocks again. September 13th, and Wilco's there the next night, and I'll be watching Wilco on the floor. No, I love Wilco. Do you really? I do. No, you're lying. Yeah, Yankee Foxtrot Hotel is one of my Yankee favorite Hotel albums. Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. Hotel Foxtrot really? is one of my favorite albums. By the way, I, I keep adding people to the show that like Wilco so that we can all go see Wilco. Do that one. I would do it in a heartbeat. Really? I love Wilco so fucking much. You don't have we to just pay me, just fly it. me out. We just, I, don't pay me, fly me out. Okay. I'm being real. Okay. Give me a hotel room. Shit. I, we're, I'm, we're but getting, don't pay. No, me. no, no. We're we're getting cabins on the river in Evergreen. It's me, Shane Gillis, Mark Norman, Nikki Glazer. I just texted Nikki. Nikki was like, "I love Wilco. I'd love to go." So uh, she's gonna be on the show. And if you're in, I swear to God, if uh, honestly, are you being serious right I now? I swear to God, no Fourth of July then. You don't have to invite me to your okay. party. 
Fuck the who's it's that. So I don't need fun. to know your daughters. It's so much fun. <laughs> if you get, if you do, let me do that show. Yeah. It will make my life. Okay. Please. All right. I'll text you. Yeah, yeah. Text me. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Burke Reiser. Burke Reiser.